Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Truth Be Told. I'm coming at you from Houston, Texas, visiting my family. And I just wanted to bless you today. I wanted to pray over you. I pray that God's favor is upon you. I pray that you are open to receive his word today. I pray that today we make a conscious effort to start to think on purpose. You know, I always say stop, S-T-O-P, start thinking on purpose, because when we don't, we allow our subconscious mind to rule our lives. I want to talk to you today about our subconscious mind. Do you know that our subconscious mind uh, controls 95% of our lives? It's always alert. It's awake. It uh, talks to us in our dreams. If you allow your subconscious mind to rule your life, it's based on feeling. It does what it wants. But when you start to think on purpose and you start to think what God says in Romans 12, 2, it says... Um, uh, it says to be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And you want to know how that happens? When you do something on purpose, when you do it every single day. So if you are a Christian and you believe in God and you know that we have an enemy that's trying to kill, destroy, and steal our life. And we're not doing anything about that. Then I just don't get it. I don't get it. Think about it. Please think about it. We are to know our enemies. God has given us everything that we need to know our enemy and to defeat him. But yet we continuously allow the enemy to rule our lives because he comes in in the thought. All he does is suggest something. And if you believe it, once you believe it, he's got a foothold in your life. That's the way it works. So please, I pray today that you start to get a hold of your thoughts. Hold them captive under the obedience of God. I've showed you all how to do that. You open your mouth and you say the word of God. Even Jesus himself, God himself, spoke back to the devil and told him, it is written, it's the word of God, guys, that Satan is allergic to the word of God, baby. You open your mouth and he starts to sneeze and he starts to flee. I pray you start to open your mouth and speak the word of God today. In Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah, I am on Amazing Avenue and... Love Lane, where are you at? Holla.